testes or histology of testes one of the important topic for three markers for hsc board as well as cbse board i will be talking about the coverings of testes as well which is a part of uh, hsc board but not cbse so externally the testes is covered by a fibrous connective tissue called as tunica albuginea the middle layer can, is called as tunica vascularis which is formed of capillaries that is the blood vessel the innermost layer so we can say the layer which is immediately after the testes if we go from inside to out so this layer is the internal layer but it is incomplete layer which comes from the peritoneum and how it comes from peritoneum you need to refer the descent of testes so this innermost layer is incomplete and is called as tunica vaginalis each testis is divided into 200 to 300 lobule so you, for this you need to imagine an egg which can be partitioned in 200 to 300 lobule in such a way that the point of origin is on the posterior side so in short you are joining all triangles and the apex is meeting at the posterior side so each lobule consists of 2 to 1 to 4 convoluted seminiferous tubule so these are tubes like structure but they are slightly zigzag in nature so if we cut this tube what we end up is getting a circle so this is what the diagram represents inside the diagram you can see small cells in the lining these are called as cuboidal germinal epithelium so the epithelium which is cuboidal in shape and is known to undergo a germination that is the formation of sperm so this layer is called as cuboidal germinal epithelium what do you mean by lining lining is the internal coating so whenever an organ which is hollow has internal covering or internal coating that is called as lining so i just quickly repeat the answer the ts of testes shows 1 to 4 convoluted seminiferous tubule this tubule is present in each lobe testes has around 200 to 300 lobules so each seminiferous tubule is lined by cuboidal germinal epithelium in between this cuboidal germinal epithelium at specific intervals there are certain elongated cells called as nerve cells or they are also called as sertoli cells the sertoli cells help to nourish the growing sperm in the sertoli cells the sperms are inserted with their heads inside the sertoli cells the center of the diagram shows the lumen in ts of testes will also show the various stages of sperm formation or spermatogenesis the various stages are spermatogonia primary secondary spermatocyte spermatids and sperm in between two seminiferous tubule are present cluster of cells which are also called as interstitial cells or cells of leydig these cells are known to secrete hormone called as testosterone after puberty this hormone is responsible for the development of secondary sexual characteristic in males so this was your ts of testis